I want with the clothes in there, then my clothes right there, you know what I mean? So you gonna be naked moving, you know what I'm saying? Today we got kids, y'all like y'all don't wanna let them leave. You walk around here 50, 60 years old trying to get a husband, but you got a man living in your house already. He come over there for dinner, your son come out the room with some box of drawers on, grown man. Yes, and you go look in the room, you done brought him in the same room you done brought him from the hospital in. You go look at the ceiling and say it's a boy at the top of the ceiling. This is ridiculous, you understand me? This is a grown man sleeping in a race car bed. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do better than that. Let these kids get out. We are people that come from something and nothing. Let me explain. When we had less, we act better. When we had less, we treated each other better. You understand me? We just forgot about the struggles we went through. For real. You remember when you used the lights get cut off? We had a slogan, your mama say, we ever go on in this house, just stay in this house. You understand me? And you be like, yes, yeah, sir. She said, now, when we go in this house, you know ain't no lights on, so you don't worry about it. When I blow that candle out, that means it's time to go to bed. You understand me? So when you got your lights back on, you was grateful. Your brother cut the lights on at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you were able to knock his teeth out. And you were making where we were going to have lights again. So you appreciate it when you got your skin. See, we stopped struggling and we stopped going through something, so now we think everything is always going to be the same. Don't forget where we came from, y'all. We came from people that came from down south, that came up here with four and five families living together. Another thing before I get out of here is that we never turned our back on family when we were growing up on school. All of us had different kind of family members. Come on, let's keep it real. In my family, we had auntie uncle. This before gay or anything was out. I didn't know nothing about that. I knew when she came over, she looked like a woman, she drank, she went to the bathroom, put her man clothes on. It was Auntie Uncle to us. We didn't have no problem. My friends were like, who is that? I be like, that's Auntie Uncle. Don't even worry about it. You know? It's all right. We had an alcoholic uncle, Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob was the smartest man before he drank intelligent. He get that Demetrius vodka and lose his mind. He dancing on gospel songs and anything else. They be like, oh, Bob, it's time for you to go. That's just like when we used to go out of town. We didn't go on no planes. We went in the car. And if you know we had no accident, you rolled the window down and went down south. Your mama called, girl, we coming down south. She be like, hi, y'all out? Who, everybody coming? She be like, yeah. She said, well, girl, we can make some pallets on the bed, on the floor, whatever. You know we gonna make some room. 2014, you be like, hey, girl. I'm about to come to Indianapolis. Well, how many of y'all in the girl? Where's well, me and my new boyfriend? Girl, I'm gonna meet your new boyfriend. But it's a Motel 8 right down the street from my house, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody let come over their house no more. You know, we used to do that growing up. We did, and I don't know what happened. We got to the point, one thing happened, we stopped sitting on the front porch and started sitting on the back porch. When we sat on the front porch, we knew everybody. And everybody knew everybody. Nine days, nobody know nobody. You on the block, you don't know half of your neighbors. It's sad, but it's the truth. And we used to know everybody. All I'm saying is we got to get back to loving each other. For some reason, we done bottled ourselves up and scared somebody going to take something from us. Ain't nobody going to take your joy. God woke you up this morning. It's up to you to have the joy the rest of the way. You sit up here and look sour, but you all right, sister. You ain't smiling. Nothing I did or nothing. If whatever you're going through, don't worry about it. You here now. You ain't got the money to pay it. Don't worry about it. They don't know where you live at. If you do, it's cut off. Go over your sister's house. You know how we used to hide cars and garages? So y'all need to quit worrying about stuff that we used to didn't worry about. Remember, today is the only day you need to worry about. Today, I'm going to be happy. The rest of y'all, y'all can worry about tomorrow and all that other stuff. Today, though, I got my help. I got the money in my pocket. I ain't buying nobody enough for Christmas because I'm a Jehovah's Witness this week. And I'm good. I'm BLT. I'm glad. Thank you for being
J41, your lights are on. Tonight, the silent auction continues, and we are looking for Miss Uita Jones. Are you in the building? Miss Uita Jones, if you would come forward, you just won auction item number 49, the Queen Heated Mattress Pad. We are still close to the silent auction outlet tonight. Also, we are still looking for a pastor of the Mount Holy to come forward. Althea Walton to come forward. Michael Williams to come forward. And Reverend Leslie Sanders to come forward. If you will see Ms. Daphne in the blue over here, she can complete your auction transactions. We welcome you to an evening of holiday inspiration. Are you having a good time on tonight? You can do better than that. Are you having a good time on tonight, ladies and gentlemen? If I can just have a little bit more volume on this microphone. Someone recently said that only one lady can pull all of these people together in one room. And it gives me a great pleasure to introduce our host for the evening. She wears so many hats and she's a woman of so many talents. But she is an author. She's a radio host. She's a consultant. She's an interface liaison. She can be heard each Sunday afternoon on WVON, the talk of Chicago on 1690. She is our host for the evening. She's the beautiful, the elegant, the lovely Miss Pam Morris. Put your hands together and welcome Miss Pam Morris to an evening of holiday inspiration. Wow, thank you, Jamila. Uh, Jermaine going to have this um, is what I call it. Good evening, everyone. It is just, uh, normally I have a notebook in front of me, and I read from the notebook. But tonight, I'm going to read from my heart without the notebook. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I feel so humbled and so blessed to have all of you in this room tonight for the same reason, to bless students to complete their education, and you believe in me. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Brittany, I know that you have to leave soon, but I want you to stand, and I want everyone to know that this young lady, the violinist, she's studying, she has to go, but I want you to know that we want to see this young lady walk at the University of Ball State University. And we love you. Thank you, and I have something very special for you, a presentation. So before you walk, you might want to see me. Thank you. Another one of our students, Amber. Amber from Oral Roberts University. And Amber flew in on last evening, and she's going to speak to all of you uh, shortly and tell you what her experience is like at the university. Thank you, Amber. When I look around this room and I see Archbishop Lucius Hall of the First Church of Love and Faith and of the First Spiritual Churches of Truth International and Broadcast Ministers Alliance, when he gives me the opportunity every now and then to co-host with him I am so humbled and honored that finally we got an opportunity to be together in the same room, 43. Thank you, Archbishop Lucius Hall. And then when I look around this room at our incredible sponsors, Home Run In, who you do not see, there was a, a banner for them, but I guess the banner kept falling. But during the setup today, the banner really was real. And, and I saw it. But um, Home Run In, who blessed me to be able to bless the students right away tonight. We want to say thanks to Home Run In. Home Run In, so I met with the CEO of Home Run In. And he gave me a check right on point. Because they believe in us. And it's very humbling to see one of the owners of McDonald's, Miss Doris Boris. Doris Wiesta. Boris walked in with an asylum option 
here, one of my most dearest friends and the owner of how many McDonald's? Two McDonald's. Tell everyone where your locations are. being so kind to come and be with us for one reason, one cause, our students. And thank you for the time we spend together at the city of Gary. Even though Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson said she was on her way, I hope everything's okay, because she has not made it yet. But uh, we do expect to see her hopefully before we end. We're in this room tonight because a gentleman wouldn't say no to me. And this gentleman is responsible for Norman's Bistro and Room 43. Mr. Norman Bolton. Bolton, thank you. Norman, Norman, walk up, please. Please walk up. Come on, keep those hands together. Keep those hands together. I want to say thank you for believing in me. And thank you for this opportunity. Every time I saw you, I said, can I come back? Will you please do this for our students? <laughs> and I want to say thank you so very much for, not only does he believe in me, when I pray for him, he tells me things happen. He's a good man. And this room is available to you for any special event, right, Pastor Turner? who just had his daughter's, four daughters, CD release in this room just several weeks ago then. The Turner Sisters, thank you. And I would like to acknowledge all of the ministers that are here tonight. Would you just wave your hand, ministers? All of our ministers, look at all of our ministers in this room. All of them, pastors, special standards. Look at all of our pastors. Pastor Williams, you and your lovely wife. I know you're on your way to Israel, San Francisco this time. Thank you so very much for being with us. Before we get into the music, there is an envelope. And there's some more people I want to acknowledge. Yaki? I'm missing Cynthia. Cynthia and I, a wonderful assistant, relocated to Atlanta, Florida, to be with her family. So, um, we miss her tonight. Larry? Thank you. Lamont's catering because of Mrs. Juanita Passmore and Mr. and Mrs. Cam Beard and Cameron Shoes. Mr. Beard, I really, um, there's something in my purse. I'll be right back. Say something to one another. Say I'm so happy to see you. I'll be right back. <laughs> 